the order, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody for the lineup? Yes, I do. All right. Good morning. Uh, and sir, if I ask you for approval of this morning's agenda. Motion to approve today's agenda. I will second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next we have is approval for claims for payment dated February 3rd, 2021. Make a motion to approve the February 3rd, 2021 claims for payment. I will second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next, we have this emergency management update. Thomas, anything exciting this morning? Oh, sure. All right. <laughs> Snowstorm coming. Really? Maybe. Who yeah. would have guessed? Kind of like the system stuff. Fourth time. Yeah. We circle back around to it. So the acoustic panels are in. There's one wall that is still waiting. Um, they'll come Friday and finish that up. The construction class at the Eldora High School. He's bringing those students over, and they've been doing a really good job of um, getting them put up and getting straight and all of that. Um, working on the bids for the snow guard uh, have two different kinds to look at and decide on. Um, our budget hearing is on February 18th, so the commission approved that last, uh, maybe it was two weeks ago, that we're going to have the budget hearing. And then uh, still delivering PPE. Not that we were out of the long term care outbreaks, but uh, the facility went back into outbreaks. So last week, delivered 250 gallons, and we'll get some more from the state in the next week or so. Um, court services start back tomorrow. Uh, jury selection is in there uh, Thursday, barring uh, weather events. <laughs> and then uh, I want to make sure that I thank Jody and Mason. They have been doing a really good job of coming over and anytime before the jury date, um, they come over and clean the whole, the garage, the main EOC, set up the chairs and make sure they got the six foot distance and all of that. So. Um, thank you to them for maintaining that every time. Perfect. So that's everything I got. All right. Let's make that question. Lance, for me. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thomas. All right. Rocky. They were there uh, doing clinic so. Good morning. Good morning, Rocky. Good morning, Rocky. Um, so just an good. update on our numbers. Yes, okay. So update on our numbers for this week. We're down to 140 active cases, which is about a 6.2 positivity rate for the county. So as far as positive cases go, we're looking pretty good there. Hardin County, as of Monday, has administered 1,103 doses of COVID vaccine and 1,667 Hardin County residents have received the vaccines. So we're continuing to get the doses out just as quickly as they're coming in. Uh, Friday evening, we will be getting the South Hardin School District staff, all 122 of them, their vaccine. We'll be working on the Ackley School next week, and then we're still working with Iowa Falls to coordinate that with them to get some doses out to them as well. And um, we're just setting up clinics just as our supply allows. So keep an eye on our on our email blast and our phone calls that we're getting out there. All right, thank you, Rocky. Lance, anything? Well, the question was brought up last week as to uh, other entities helping. Um, so when we do the school districts with other entities be helping with those as well, is there's all to be administered through uh, Rocky or okay. the, the amount of doses that are coming okay. in? So who is doing the uh, South Harden School vaccination clinic? It's all still going through Medicap and then our staff is helping with it as well. Okay. And as uh, dose allocations increase, resources from entities, 
such as other clinics, our paramedic services, any of those other resources listed through IDPH that are qualified could and may be used, correct? Yes, that's correct. Anybody that completed the vaccine provider agreement with IDPH will be able to be allocated vaccine as, as our supply allows. All right. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you. Uh, Renee, did you have anything for Rocky? Nope. Okay. This point, um, go ahead. Taylor, we're going to circle back. We had a utility mm -hmm. permit last week. Yep, that one didn't go if you want to do that. Okay. So I can ask for approval of the utility permit. Okay, make a motion to approve the utility permit at UT21001. Second it. Okay, I have a motion and second. Discussion? Okay, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anything else? Uh, uh, just just a, I got a call yesterday afternoon that uh, uh, one of our motor gators transmissions shot. So this happens more than you like. It, I, one of our common things on our motor graders is it sucks, but so yeah, we're going to be down a grader for a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, we've already contacted Cat out of Fort Dodge, and we'll go from there. So did, you, did they bring a loaner? They don't have any at the moment, no. but we have one backup motor grader. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so the replacement will be in house. So Shane and crew will do that, or is that something that? Warranty. Well, or, so it's it just fell out of warranty, so that's why we're okay. we're trying to hammer that out before we do it, but. For how many they've replaced enough transmissions too, I trust them and right. them by us. Yeah. Okay. So yep, that just happened yesterday, so they're still talking it over with Cat. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else, or you know, hang tight until mm -hmm. uh, the next item. All right. At this point, I'll uh, open. Have Michael open people up for public comment. Any public comment this morning? Yes. Um, one thing, Lance, you need to speak up. We can't hear you again. And um, what's this about um, a letter of support for House File 216? What's that about? Okay. Well, we'll address that in uh, that agenda item, Pauline. Okay, I just wondered what that was about because should we really be writing, should you guys really be writing letters of support? Because earlier when we asked about writing letters of support um, with COVID and stuff like that, you guys wouldn't get involved in writing letters of support. So should you be writing a letter of support with uh, this house file? 216. This was requested by one of our uh, department heads here at the county. So when we get to that on the agenda, we can uh, circle back and talk about how we can, uh, you know, support uh, proposed legislation. So I'll let Angela Dale Riva talk about that uh, when we get oh, to that item. Okay, but then do I have a chance later to still come back and talk about that then? No, but you can feel free to email Angela, Renee, uh, Lance, or I, um, or give us a call, and we can definitely discuss it. Okay, because I'm still reiterating that we didn't get into any letters of support with anything else. So do we really have a right to get into letters of support about this? I really yeah. don't think that falls under our realm of um, getting into supportive letters. We didn't want to get into any other things any place else before. So do we get in our- All right, next public comment. I have a public comment. Um, Thank you, Julie. Um, um, yes, the, actually, yes. The placement of this public comment section um, did seem to work better at the end. And um, because as you just stated, BJ, when um, you got down to that agenda item, um, essentially no, Pauline wouldn't be able to comment them, but she should email or call you. Um, it, citizens have a right to hear other citizens in a meeting as this, what their opinion is, um, because 
no, not going to call you. And emails are, um, no, I, I, I would appreciate if you could find it um, in the best interest of the public to put public comments at the end so they can comment on things that just were discussed or give them opportunity as discussion um, proceeds to speak their mind. Thank you. Renee, go ahead. And I, I, I'd like to respond to that, Julie. The only thing I would say is if we have public comments earlier, we can take into consideration any of the comments that are made in regard to what's coming up on the agenda. By the time, if you put it at the bottom, by the time we get down there, the action has already been taken. That's correct, um, but we don't get to speak as it is being discussed. And um, so there's that. But to have it now, when we haven't heard exactly what you will be saying, um, um, I, don't, I don't see how that works in the best interest, but thank you for your response. Other public comment this morning? All right, here we go. We'll yeah, could you, still, could you still address that then, BJ, what that is so we know? It, it's uh, after we address the next contract, then uh, that item will come up and Angela De La Riva will address that. Okay, so, okay. Uh, so this is our contract for, I told you last week that I just got it on Wednesday uh, for the uh, asphalt paving job between Hubbard and Providence on D55 all the way to Highway 65. And then it goes up <clears> through the town of Hubbard a little bit. So I've already contacted Hubbard and told them what their portion will be. They, according to the old policy from the 90s, they pay 20% of the stuff within city limits. So, um, you know, you got your contract there for $1,939,102.81. Um, trying to remember how many working days I gave them. Uh, I'm thinking it was 50 days and the late start day was August. Yeah. Okay. August 16th. Yeah, where it is. So that was pretty reasonable. So what was your estimate on this plan? Uh -huh. We thought it could land anywhere between two and a half and three million dollars just because we've never we have you know all our concrete roads around here, we haven't had to deal with them for 50 years. So we were kind of shooting from the hip. So we we're pretty happy it came in a half million below mm -hmm. our estimate. But according to all the all the bids were fairly close to there. We had six bidders and most of them were under 2.2 million. So, so now we know for the future ones that are coming up soon. And this is with Mathy Construction Company out of Onalaska, Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the contract <clears throat> for the Hardin County Resurfacing Project. Um, on County Highway D55. I will second. Okay, the motion is second. Discussion, six bidders, low bid, 1.9 million approximately, mm -hmm. estimated for nearly a million dollars more than that. So, okay, any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Angela? Lene. Aye. Lance? Aye. BJ? Aye. Motion carries. Angela? Next item is uh, Angela De La Riva, Hardin County Economic Development Director, request for a letter of support regarding Iowa House File 216. Go ahead, Angela. Yeah, so this is basically, it's a, it's a house file. Yet. I haven't gone to the Senate yet. Uh, but basically, what this bill would do would set up a grant program for the demolition of vacant school buildings in Iowa. Um, it's a great bill. I read a lot of them, and this one has a lot of really important pieces to it. Um, it prioritizes communities with less population, which is really important to Harding County. Um, it did the build the building just had to be vacant by January 1 of this year. So the buildings that we have in this county obviously have met that goal. Mm -hmm. um, so they would they will uh, qualify for it. Um, the funds will be available starting this fiscal year, so July 1. Um, so a lot of really, really good funds, because a lot of the communities 
that have these big school buildings, you know, you have all these ideas, you know, we'll fix them up, put loss in them, put a put something up, take a hotel RV, and everyone wants to do what Grinnell did, but it's just not feasible for these smaller communities. Um, and if this pot of money was available, it would help we could piggyback back it off other grants, whatever, and then we'd have a site ready for development where we could do something that's lower cost and more um, suitable to the community. So um, really, really good bill. It was just introduced two, two ish weeks ago, so it's still pretty new, but um, I would really appreciate your guys' support on it because I think it would be something that would be really important for our family. So is this a statewide mm -hmm. pot of money at the state level? Yeah, it would be okay. statewide. Um, it'd be allotted by the legislator and then go right to the Iowa Economic Development Authority so they would okay. um, What's our inventory in Hardin County of facilities that would meet this? Off the top of my head, I can think of three. Okay. You know, I'm so sure there's more that I'm not. Would, would it qualify for the ones that the schoolhouses have already been sold at any time? It doesn't. Give the specifics, but I assume that it does have to be owned by the school district of the county. So, um, but I mean, the three that I know of are still owned by the school district. So, um, it's something we can dig into a little bit further. But, yeah. And this isn't the, the shrub, this is the. Yeah, it, it is done with them. Done with them. It is okay. done with right. them. Yeah. To. Re to a green space or a building site yeah so i mean you know if we were to get the brownfield grant you know with this money we can take the building down with the brownfield we can bait all of whatever is in there probably the asbestos i don't know um and then we have a shovel ready site ready for development so all these calls i'm getting from developers saying like hey we need space we here now we have space and parking you know but it's not for someone that like a community that wants to fix it up and it isn't and, okay. um just for them you know those okay. funds are super hard to come from to get it and, and you basically have to have an outside investor for that mm -hmm. but the demolition is probably one of the more expensive oh, parts sure. of the redevelopment for sure, for sure. in that um, uh, risk mitigation whether it's asbestos or a well or a hazardous material site um Exactly. So, Demolition is the biggest key to any project. Um, you know, there's that school building in Ackley that we've talked for three years about doing something right. with it. And, you know, it's going to cost close to a million dollars just to take it down, you know? So, mm -hmm. what investor is going to say, here's a million bucks to take it down, and then here's another two million to build something up, you know? Mm -hmm. So, to yeah. take that out of the equation, you're already part of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> could it could it be used for green space to go back to the school district itself if they wanted to rebuild the school on that location? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. I I didn't see a whole lot of any um, you know strings or anything attached at this point. Yeah. One thing that I I believe that um, we have communities that a handful were able to. This is a statewide statement that when we had abandoned schools or hospitals or whatever, hey, we'll sell it to somebody for a dollar. And a lot of times they just became dilapidated, mm -hmm. uncared for uh, buildings that became nuisances that communities had to you know, mitigate and take care of. And so that one dollar premise that worked you know, well in some communities, mm -hmm. a lot of places it just didn't come to light or, or they dream big and hit a hurdle. So this, I think, would allow communities to take that first step to repurposing, just like we explained, the demolition is the most expensive and probably the biggest hurdle and you know the, the thing that gets in the way most money. Okay. So back to Pauline's statement that she was bringing up and that we shouldn't do letters of support because of the reason she was bringing up. This isn't for the reason she was bringing up. This is letter of support to support all the communities in Hardin County, let alone rural communities. Mm -hmm. Or any community, I don't really care. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's just a letter of support that could help Hardin mm -hmm. County tremendously. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'll make a motion to approve 
sending a letter of support regarding House File 216. I'll second. Okay, I have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Just, do you want to direct uh, Angela to, to do the letter? Is that? Is, is that, are you willing to do that? Yeah. Okay, yes, okay. I'll amend my motion to um, include directing Angela to prepare the letter of support. I'll second that. Okay. I have a motion to second to the amended motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Next is approval of the complete motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item is accept the resignation of Alden Township Trustee Royal Duncan. Uh, Royal sent a email. He wishes to decline his appointment that we made in January. As trustee for Alden Township, being a township trustee has been quite a learning experience, and I'm sure you will find a willing to replace me. So, thank you for the cooperation and help over the years. Okay. And with that, I would go ahead and accept his resignation to an Alden Township trustee. I'll second it. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I appreciate Royal's engagement uh, in the community. He's very involved in drainage district issues and uh, and in agriculture, so I appreciate that. So I have a motion, do I have a second? Second. Okay, I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next I have is the appointment uh, to replace Royal Duncan to the Alden Township Trustees uh, with Scott Ellington. So along with the conversation I had with Royal, Scott Ellington, has been a very good trustee on that board. He's very intuitive with the uh, cemetery, and we would like him to be put back on as well. And I will make that motion. Okay, I'll second it. I have a motion and a second to appoint Scott Ellington to the Alden Township trustees. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, as is the auditor's monthly report. We'll make a motion to approve the auditor's monthly report for the month of January. I'll second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next I have is Sheriff McDaniel's monthly report. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, Sheriff's monthly report. Second it. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Next, have a change of status in the information technology department. Make a motion to approve the change of status for Michael Pierce in the IT department. Um, it's a promotion and a pay increase to $47,500, effective February 26, 2021. Um, you want me to read the sure. Okay, under Matt has included the statement, Michael was hired at a low starting wage for the position. Michael was, Michael, I was told, Michael was told I had discussed with my supervisors moving his wages up in accordance with his abilities based on merit. Michael's yearly review clearly showed he has far exceeded expectations. I'm accept, I'm asking that his status be changed to network engineer and salary be raised to a more appropriate 47.5. It's currently 44,000 now and 47,5 July 1st, 2021. It goes to 44 now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because here it says 47,5. Yeah, it hasn't been affected. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I will amend that or do you want me to restate? No, um, second. Hmm? I second. Okay. okay, I'm going to go ahead and let your motion die for lack of a second. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve then the change of status for Michael Pierce um, for the promotion and pay increase to 44000 currently and then to 47.5 July 1st. I'll second. Okay. I have a motion to second. Um, any discussion? The he changed his job title as well in that. It was more to it than just a pay bump. Um, 
So in this position, I know he retired low when he came in and he's been here for how long has he been here? Just shy of a year. Just shy of a year. They changed the position. I'd like to point out that when the person he replaced was hired originally, it was at 50,000 right out of the gate. And this is still less than that position. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the other thing, when it comes to job duties, um, the pandemic really changed how meetings are conducted. And I can tell you, Grundy County um, doesn't offer the same open meetings that we do. So a member of the public in Grundy County wouldn't be able to uh, attend a meeting uh, via Zoom. Um, I'm not sure what their policy is for in-person meetings, but whether it's um, emergency management, planning and zoning, variance board, supervisors, um, you name the commission, um, actually conservation. I could go on and on without the network engineer position and Michael Pierce, the production and ability to have those open meetings wouldn't happen, just flat out would not happen. So there's days where when we have budget meetings of six, eight hours, that's taken away from the duties originally hired for. Nobody can foresee a pandemic coming along and having to broadcast the meeting. YouTube recording, not the biggest deal, but facilitating, monitoring, and setting up the meetings is definitely um, outside of the original wheelhouse. And I commend Michael on the work he's done and Matt and Michael and Jessica for being able to collaborate and come together to bring the meetings uh, forward in such a manner that we can have a, a better governance. Mm -hmm. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. The last item I have for a change of status is in the treasurer's office. Okay, go ahead, Lee. I'll make a motion to approve the change of status in the treasurer's office for Ann Larson beginning 2 8 of 21 at $17.44 an hour. It is a full time non exempt position. And after, I'll wait for the discussion. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, I have a motion to second discussion. After 90 days probation period and based on performance, not to exceed 1794. Okay. And this is um, not an additional staff member. This is filling a vacant position that Treasurer Eichmeier had in her office. Okay. All those in favor of the change of status say aye. 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 Motion carries. Other business, Lance? Yeah, uh, we had a late start today. I just wanted to point that out. It was due to uh, over run of time from our conference board meeting earlier. Yeah. And, uh, thanks for sticking with us on the, on the Zoom. Yep. Renee. No other business. Okay. I have no other business. I can ask for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. I'll second. Okay. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you.